Back in April of 2012, this video was uploaded to YouTube. And to this day, almost everyone in the UK knows of Shahid Nazir or the one pound fish man. This video blew up very quickly. It was huge. Everybody knew the words to the one pound fish song. And if they didn't, they shortly did when he performed on the X Factor. And then after performing on the X Factor, he got a record deal with Warner Music and they actually made a music video of the one pound fish song. The news reported that Shahid had been deported. Since then, Shahid has publicly said that he wasn't deported. It was purely that his visa just expired. But nevertheless, Shahid has moved back to Pakistan. And while in Pakistan, Shahid has actually recorded and released another song that most people don't know about. And it's a tribute to Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, we all love you. We all miss you, Michael Jackson. Everyone is still follow your moonwalk. You were the creator, lovely moonwalk. It was brilliant. It's still brilliant. Well, it's been nine years since the One Pound Fish song, and I wanted to know what Shahid was up to, so I messaged him, asked him where to sit down and have a chat, and he said yes. I definitely recommend sticking around because Shahid does debut a new song to us. It's a song that's never been played in the UK before. It's only been on a couple of Pakistani news stations. It's brand new material, and if you like the One Pound Fish song, then you're gonna love his new song, so stick around for that. But here it is, my chat with Shahid Nazir, the One Pound Fish man. Hi, Tom, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah, oh, brilliant. Thank you for thank you for taking your time to uh, come and talk to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome. So, tell me about before the video. It was in 2012 when the video was uploaded. Tell me a little about before the video, so that you know your journey into the UK and uh, getting to that point where you are on that on that market stall. Actually, that is an amazing story about the one pound fish. Uh, I would like to say I'm not talented, but, but I am blessed one. Uh, when I went to UK, so I went there for study visa and uh, allowed with work permission. So I decided, so should I avail this opportunity? So I started a job in a Queen's Market, Green Street, in a fish stall, quality fish stall called. So my owner said, okay, Mr. Shahid, we should attract the customer. We should call the customer for sell the more fish. So I would like to say this idea, I will not say what I decided and I wrote. It just came in my mind and uh, just I started, come on ladies, come on ladies. <laughs> one pound fish, have a, have a look. One pound fish, very, very good. One pound fish. So someone recorded my video and put it on YouTube and that video viral over the night and the millions and <laughs> the likes and hits on YouTube and at that time, the people called uh, you are an internet sensation right now. Yeah, and and how did that feel when you when you started seeing that video upload? How long did it take before you before you knew? Because of course you didn't upload the video; someone uploaded it for you. So how long did it take you before you found out that so many people were watching it? First of all, I never thought one day I become a famous like a one pound fish man. The people said, "Okay, here." Uh, you can, uh, uh, the people knows about the uh, Iron Man, Batman, Spider-Man, and you are a fish man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a very good and unique fame. So I never thought, uh, it's a overnight, uh, I mean, hit, overnight hit. Uh, someone recorded and put it on YouTube. And within one week, I realized that a different friend called me. Okay, Shahid, you are singing a very great song on YouTube. I said, I am singing a song. So after within a one week when I saw on YouTube, so I shocked okay, the thousands of views, hundreds and thousands of views on uh, YouTube. So I was very happy, my family. And uh, within a one week, the whole media cover to me, they came on my stall, the different channels, the Pakistani, my country channels, Indian channels, especially uh, BBC came on my stall. The different channels started my interview there. That's brilliant, yeah. And I mean, to this day, it has uh, 17 and a half million views on the on the original 
version but yeah. of course yes it gets shared many more times on, on facebook and, and other youtube channels and like you say sometimes even on on tv and and different news channels <laughs> one question that uh that a few people have asked me to ask you is what uh what fish was you selling what what fish was one pound there are so many fishes uh you can say especially was mackerel tilapia red brief each fish was uh, one pound each and that was of a six or five pound one pound each <laughs> six or five pound one pound each very very good and very very cheap the tune was so catchy the people came on my stall and we we made record there to sell the fish it is a really my catchy honor. tune and uh and, yes. and you do have a good singing voice have you uh, have you always enjoyed singing? Is it something that you had practiced before uh, coming to the UK and working, or is it just a hobby? I I love music. I was singing so many songs in my school life, my college life here in Pakistan, and won the so many prizes here. So, but it was not decided to official officially. I will sign any uh, contract and officially sing. I never decided, and I, I never thought. But uh, as I said, I'm not talented one. You can say I'm blessed one. That's very nice. How um how quickly did your life change? You said, you know, it took about a week before you realized the video was getting thousands of views. How quickly did your life change uh, from the video being uploaded? Tom, trust me, uh, within a one week, my whole life changed. You know, social media, nobody can, you can control electronic media, print media, but nobody can control social media. At that time, people said, you are internet sensation. The people put it my video on YouTube, on Facebook, on different social media channels. And it's gone viral, not only in UK, even Japan to America. Uh, my Warner Brothers released officially my song, not only in UK, even in Europe, in America, in India, in Japan, Japan to America, the song was released. And it was viral around the world. So within one week, the whole life changed. People asking me, uh, <laughs> people treat me like a superstar. So <laughs> I just say thanks of mighty Allah, thanks of mighty God. God is so kind. So I got fame and name. That's brilliant. And then, of course, that year you was uh, you you performed on the X Factor as well and performed the One Pound Fish song on the X Factor. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit about about that. Thousands of people said you should go to X Factor. You have a very uh, nice voice. You are a good singer. So at that time, I was not uh, clearly about X Factor. No idea about X Factor. My friend uh, told me about X Factor, and so I decided should I go there. So when I went there, and I was the first person of 2012 who passed the first audition of X Factor. And that audition was off the screen. I was the first person in 2012. That's that's incredible. And the, that's a experience, good... the experience was great. I went there and I sing my song uh, confidently. So uh, it was a great experience. And it's honor to me uh, at that time. I was a part of X Factor as well. Yeah, it's a good it is a good honor. And then from that, uh, it was after the X Factor appearance, uh, shortly after that, that you said uh, it was Warner Music that uh, reached out to um, make the official uh, One Pound Fish yes. song, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And uh, after the X Factor, the officially uh, Warner uh, approached us and uh, they officially uh, released my song. So it's also great and uh, honor for me. I, I, I'm an artist of Warner Brothers. How did it feel being recognized? Uh, people must have been coming to your stall to hear you hear you sing and, and, and watch you sort of perform at the stall. How did, yes, how did yes. that feel? Hundreds and thousands of people came on, especially, uh, you know, West Ham football stadium is too close, uh, too close to my uh, fish stall. And the thousands of people, uh, <laughs> while match day, they, they came on my stall and took autograph and pictures. And the people always called me, hey, one pound fish man is going there. The one pound fish man is my name and one pound fish is my fame. My real name is Shahaniri, but nobody knows. The people knows me, one pound fish man. <laughs> <laughs> that is true so now you're, you're you're back in pakistan um yes so how long how long has it uh been since you since you left the uk and returned back to pakistan i'm here last eight years i'm here in pakistan when i came pakistan it's a big welcome on uh, lahore airport for me as you can say it was the reign of rose battle everywhere all media, the Pakistani media and the other countries' media as well. When I came here, so I signed an original contract with PTCL. Uh, PTCL, the Pakistan Telecommunications.
telecommunication company, which is largest brand of our country. I was a brand ambassador officially. So it was also a great honor and a big achievement for me. I worked with PTCL as well. I went to France as well. I danced with Miss France as well. Released <laughs> officially my song. Released officially my song in France as well and, and, and Europe. And uh, now I have recorded some Punjabi songs as well. So that's very special thing. Now I'm going to do that. So I record uh, a song and I'm going to give a tribute to our doctor and nurses while this uh, too dangerous situation uh, uh, COVID-19, they came on front line and they did fight with coronavirus. So that song is like, uh, I, I would like to sing here. Common nurses, common doctor, beat the coronavirus. Common nurses, common doctor, beat the coronavirus. You are our special warriors. You are our special heroes. You are our real warriors. You are our real heroes. Common nurses, common doctor, beat the coronavirus. That is very catchy. Uh, I like it. That's brilliant. Thank you. There we go. Thank so, you. when is that? Is that? Is, is there an uh, official release date for that? I I, I will I, I will release it officially. It's a very viral on Pakistani media right now. Ah. Pakistani media took my interviews last few days, so it's a very viral on Pakistani media. So uh, I'm going to plan to officially uh, record it and officially to release it. Brilliant, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure that will do well. I'm sure people in the UK will be happy to happy to hear some new material from we, you. We 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 should admire our doctors and nurses in United Kingdom and in Pakistan. The Corona, you know, it's a very dangerous. Huh? It's a too dangerous. But the doctors and nurses they did fight with the, they did fight with this very bravely. I mean, very strongly. So we should admire our doctor and nurses, our paramedical staff who did fight, especially in U UK, Pakistan and around the world. I would like to give a big salute to our doctor and nurses and our paramedical staff. Other than, of course, uh, that song there that you've just uh, sort of uh, give us that introduction for. Is there any other future projects that you're working on at the moment? Anything that we should be looking forward to? Right, right now I'm working on this common uh, nurses and common doctor beat the coronavirus and other i have stuff a uh, uh, few english stuff and a uh, few punjabi stuff as well which is recorded but due to the reason of coronavirus we couldn't uh, make uh, official videos audio and music has been done our few projects but due to the reason of corona we couldn't make video but within i think within two and three months we will make the video as well you know that i'm right now here in pakistan and it's a two temperature is 45 and 44 here. So it's a very difficult task to make the video outside. So within two and three months, we will make the videos of our, our new projects. That's exciting. I, I look forward to it. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to keep uh, up to date on your, on your social media uh, to see when, see when that comes out. You returned back to Pakistan after being in the UK um after some uh, issues with the visa as you said earlier on you was on a on a student visa is uh is returning to the uk something that you would you would look forward to in the future at some point or do you think your 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 home and and your life is uh, now in pakistan no, definitely i want to come back to uk united kingdom that was a technical technically error and you can say that that was a technically mistake uh, but that that issue has been sorted out so I would like to come back to UK and very soon, due to the reason of Corona, you know, the visa strict, uh, uh, the visa problems, the embassies are not properly working. So after the uh, COVID situation, when it will uh, clear, I will definitely come back. The thousands of people emailed to me on Twitter and uh, they are asking me, why are you not coming back? So I love UK. I miss UK. England is a land of dreamful land. <laughs> Uh, I love that. Yeah. So uh, I look forward to that then. I'm glad that your, uh, your the issues were resolved. And uh, hopefully, like you say, once uh, once the coronavirus is uh, all cleared up and it's safe to travel, uh, I look forward to, uh, you know, we welcome you back uh, to the UK. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. I will definitely come back. UK. UK is my life. Pakistan and UK, the both countries are my life. Uh, I love UK and Pakistan. That's good to hear. Um, is there uh, is there anything else that you would like that you would like to say? Is there any any other messages that you would like people to hear? 
Uh, my message is just about, uh, as I told you, okay, I would like to give a big salute to our doctor and nurses in UK and Pakistan and, and around the world. So I, will, uh, I especially admire uh, the big efforts of doctors and nurses, our paramedical staff, who did fight with coronavirus. So a big salute to doctors and nurses. Thank you for joining us uh, on the Curios cast, Shahid. Um, I appreciate you. you taking your time out. And I know, as you said, um, it, is, uh, <laughs> it is very hot out there. Um, it's a hot day here today, but it's, I'm sure it's nowhere near the temperature here. It's only about... If anybody, <laughs> if anybody want to take sun baths, so definitely come to Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, I hope everything stays well with you. Thank you. I hope, Thank that, you. I hope that you can uh, come back to the UK sometime soon and it's, it's not too long before we can have you back. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, I look forward to hearing, hearing the song uh, and seeing the video for that once that's all out as well. Um, I'm sure everyone will be happy to hear like the little uh the little snippet of that thank you thank you very soon thank you okay uh have a nice day shahid thank you same to you same to you see ya bye bye thank you bye bye I hope you enjoyed that interview as much as I enjoyed talking to Shahid. All of his social media links are going to be in the description. So if you want to follow him to know when the uh, Hello Nurses, Hello Doctors song comes out, then give him a follow. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. And thank you again to Shahid for sitting down and having a chat with me. I really appreciate it. Feel free to check out our other videos on this channel because we've got some similar videos with other people who became memes and people who unexpectedly became popular on the internet uh, because of a video. For example, the Frosty's kid, the kid who was in a Frosty's advert and people rumoured that he had killed himself. Turns out he didn't, but we've got an interview with him. The guy on Come Dine With Me who put a whisk in his mouth and Malcolm J. Brenner, a man who had sex with a dolphin. Yeah. So check those out and feel free to subscribe because we've got some really good interviews lined up as well that are going to be coming out over the next few months. Thanks for watching.